We are off stage at Studio Amped. It's season 11, and we have a fabulous program tonight. It's the Crickets, and I would like to ask you all to just describe uh, your your sound, uh, uh, your instrumentation, uh, how how people will perceive what they uh, see in the show this evening. Sure. Our sound is uh, classified probably as Americana folk. We have lots of bluegrass instrumentation, uh, good folky sound with fiddles and banjos and mandolins and stand-up bass. You can come and check it out. We'd love to have you. You all are amazing, award-winning multi-instrumentalists, uh, folk song of the year, uh, folk artist of the year, uh, going back a bit. Um, you've got two albums um, out now. Um, talk to me a little bit about both of them. I know your most recent one, Redbird, was recorded uh, up in Nashville, but uh, your first album was recorded in Muscle Shoals. That's pretty impressive. Tell me a little bit about those. Okay, we re-released re uh, Spanish Moss Sirens in 2016, and we did re-recorded that in Muscle Shoals, North Alabama, with Ben Tanner. He produced that, uh, the Alabama Shakes, and it was awesome. We had It was our first time in the studio, and we kind of went in, um, not nervous, but it was our first time in there. And the second time that we went in, um, back in April, we recorded it with Sam Ashworth, and it was awesome. We went in with our songs written, and he kind of took those and worked with them as well and made them into something really beautiful, and we're really proud of it. And it's, it's been an awesome journey, and we're really proud of both of our albums, but super excited to see where what we can do with these new songs now. We're excited to play them. Now, there's uh, a newer album, Redbird, and I uh, was wondering if maybe you could just tell us a little bit about uh, some of the tracks that are going to be performed from that album. Yeah, um, Redbird has a, a complete different feel from our first album. Um, this album is heavily drum influenced. Our producer, Sam Ashworth, did a lot of drum work and percussion and also added in several different instruments that... Um, we didn't have on the first one, so it's it's got a really cool, um, vibey sound, and we're super excited about it. And recreating that has been really fun. Um, some of the songs, um, well, a lot of them we co-wrote on, which was a different thing. We didn't get to do that on the first one. Um, so this has been a really special album because kind of all of us um, put into the writing of it. So we're really excited for you guys to check it out. Talk to me, and this could go to anyone, really, about your writing process. Uh, Studio Amp, we, we uh, present regional artists performing original music. Uh, you all have a beautiful sound, and it's a very complex uh, sound. Um, how, do, how do your uh, musical works come about? How does the writing process work for you all? Well, um, we did some where we would get together, all four of us, and write. We would either come up with um, just a concept, um, something in the room, um, and we would kind of feed off of each other. Sometimes it would even be like a, a guitar riff. And then some songs, um, each of us uh, brought pieces that we had already written, and then we finished it together. So a little bit of both of those things. I'd like to close out by asking you a little bit about your backstory uh, and about the name The Crickets and how that has led to uh, benefits that you all do. I don't know who to throw that question I'll to, be, Lauren. Can answer it. Um, the Crickets, we're, we're the Crickets with a K, but the K comes from um, just not wanting to be confused with Buddy Holly's Crickets. Uh, we respect them and love them, but we're a little different. Uh, we originally started playing for a breast cancer benefit called the Cricket Fund. Um, that's in Port St. Joe, Florida, and it provides uh, cancer aid to the uninsured in Gulf and Franklin counties in Florida. And we hope to grow this fund. But... Um, when we started playing, we never meant to really be a band. We just started playing, had a great time, and we decided to keep going and ask permission um, from Cricket's mother, who was a beautiful girl who passed away in Port St. Joe that, that is the, the fund's namesake. Asked her for permission for the name, and, um, and we took it, and we're very proud of it. And we give a dollar for every album sale to the fund uh, to just help it along, and we'd love to grow that. So that's where the name comes from. Folks, you will really enjoy the Crickets. They're just a marvelous band, and, and as you can tell, wonderful people. Uh, please tune in uh, to Studio Amp this evening, Season 11. Enjoy the Crickets. Ooh. 